In today's video, we're going to be demonstrating one method of installing Windows 98 from the hard drive. Let's get started. Now, we're not going to use any kind of VM or screen capture. We're going to be using real hardware, and for today's video, we'll be using the old Sanyo KT600 Dragon. So this PC is a little bit newer than Windows 98 era, though it came with all the drivers for Windows 98, so we'll go ahead and use it. Uh, for this method to work, we are going to need a Windows 98 install disk. Uh, we're not going to use it to install, but uh, we will need to copy some files off of it. So either an ISO you've burnt to a disk or an OEM CD. This PC is already all set up to boot to CD-ROM, so we'll go ahead and put our disk in and uh, boot into uh, Command Prompt. So at this point, we're going to want to uh, boot from the CD-ROM, so we'll select 2 and hit Enter. At this menu, we also want to select 2, so we'll uh, highlight that and hit Enter. Uh, this may take some time. Uh, we'll just go ahead and fast forward. So now that we're at the command prompt, we're going to go ahead and enter FDisk and do a uh, quick format. We'll go ahead and enable the large disk support. Uh, we'll go ahead and display the partition, though it should be a uh, unallocated drive. So no partitions found. So we'll go ahead and create a uh, DOS partition. We'll select one, and we'll also do a primary. Uh, now this is real time. Uh, this is the benefit of having an SSD. It goes pretty quickly. We'll make it active. Once again, it goes by pretty fast. Uh, if this was an old platter drive, uh, that pretty much would have taken forever, especially on a large drive. We'll uh, exit this, and we'll reboot. Again, we'll boot to the CD. And once again, we'll start it with CD support. So this next command is not really necessary, though it is one that I always run. It's just uh, fdisk uh, mbr just to ensure that the master boot record is all set. Uh, with that finished, we'll go ahead and uh, also enter onto our uh, CD-ROM and uh, run format. I know we took care of that in FDisk, but it's just something that uh, we should take care of before we do an install. Uh, now that we're in the folder, we'll go ahead and uh, format the C drive. Uh, we'll go ahead and click yes as uh, we know that it's going to erase everything. And again, this is real time. This is really the uh, main benefit of having a solid state drive. It uh, speeds this process up a lot. So uh, with our 16 gig SSD, uh, we will uh, leave this blank for now. All right, with that all taken care of, what we want to actually do now is we want to uh, create a uh, directory on our hard drive called Win98. So we'll go ahead and type that in. With that all set, what we want to do now is actually copy all the contents of this Win98 from the CD-ROM to our new Win98 on our hard drive. So we'll go ahead and type that in. All 
Again, this is real time. I love using SSDs for this reason. It uh, speeds this up so much. With that complete, we are all set with our CD-ROM and our Windows install, so we'll go ahead and eject that. We'll go ahead and go to our C drive, and we'll enter our Win98 directory. From here, all we have to do is type setup and we'll start our Windows 98 install. It's going to do a routine check. Um, this may take some time depending on what kind of hard drive you have. For us, it goes by pretty quickly. So. So, as you can see, we're in the Windows 98 setup, and this is running off the hard drive. So, we'll go ahead and uh, go through this setup, uh, though we'll probably just fast forward through it. All right, our Windows install is all complete, and uh, we'll go ahead and click Cancel so we don't have to put in a password. Now, one of the reasons that I like installing Windows this way is for this reason right here. Now, if we go through this uh, install for this monitor, now, normally it would, uh, in this area, it would have asked for the CD-ROM, but uh, because we installed from the hard drive, it won't ask for the CD-ROM. It'll actually look for all the drivers in that folder that we copied the Win98 from the disk to. And uh, it'll no longer ask for the disk when you install devices. So that's for me, that's the biggest reason to install Windows like this. And that's how you install Windows 98 to an SSD without the CD. Knowledge is power.